Italy, it's a place that means so much to so many. The art, the culture, the beaches, the mountains. Italy is a skinny boot thrust into the blue of the sparkling Mediterranean with the island of Sicily like a ball balancing at its toe. But Italy hasn't always looked like this. It is a turbulent land geologically and has changed tremendously over time. Since the days of Leonardo da Vinci, scientists have struggled to learn what makes this land so dramatic, so unusual, so violent. This is the land that gave birth to the science of geology in the 17th century. Ever since then, geologic discoveries made in Italy have rocked our thinking about our planet. It's a sunny day in early spring. Cominciamo un rilevamento qui, no? American geomorphologist Frank Pazalia is working on the Mazzoni River in the Apennine Mountains. With him is an Italian student, Sandro Mariani. Un metro ventidue. Si. Che, Sandro, sei abbastanza distante. Riesci a vedermi? Si, si. Perfetto. The grandson of Italian immigrants to the U.S., Frank is intrigued by the complexities of Italian geology. He's working in Italy as part of an international team of Earth scientists, hoping to add some new pages to Italy's fascinating, unfinished geologic tale. Specifically, they would like to answer a question that has been nagging at geologists for years. Are the Apennines still growing? Or are parts of them no longer active? There's an opinion among many geoscientists that the front of the Apennines are dead, that they are no longer growing tectonically. Now this is not shared by all geologists. So we've defined for ourselves here uh, a very ambitious project, uh, trying to understand the growth and the evolution of the Apennine Mountains. And in doing this, and trying to understand this particular mountain range, we hope to be able to say something more general about how mountains are built throughout the world and how the lessons that we learn here tie into the general theory of plate tectonics and the construction of great mountain ranges.